Hello everyone, this is Maya Hassan, and today I am going to solve uh, exercise 5A from D17 edition uh, that is related to equations, algebraic equation. So I'm going to start from question number five. Uh, up till uh, uh, question number four, uh, I have solved that uh, uh, in my videos, you can subscribe to the channel. You can have access to various playlists, well, playlists of D1, D2, D3, as well as there is also a level scratch course available. You can uh, have lectures on a level scratch course. And moreover, you can have uh, lectures on uh, CSS as well. So question number five is uh, solve each of the following equations. So let me write the question from exercise D15A. It's question number five. Solve each of the following equations. And uh, Part number one is one over three x is equal to seven. We have to solve one over three x is equal to seven. Now, when you have to solve such type of equation, this is one of the type of equation in which you have a fractional coefficient. This is the case. You have a coefficient which is a fraction, and you know solve me to find the value of the variable, which is x in this case. So you need to get rid of this three. This three is being it is dividing x right now. It is in the denominator. So you can move it on the right side. So one x will become seven multiplied by three. This three will be multiplied on the right side with uh, seven, so you will get x equal to twenty-one. This is part number A. Solution for part number. And the part number B is you have to solve three over four x is equal to minus three over four x is equal to minus six. Again, we have a coefficient which is a fraction, this 4 is dividing this x and 3, so you can move it on the right side, and when you will move it on the right side, this 4 will be multiplied by minus 6, so you will get 3x equal to minus 24, now move this 3 on the right side of the equation, when you will move this 3 on the right side, it will divide 24, this 3 will divide 24, so your answer will be 3, 8 times 24, minus 8. This is solution for part number B. Now moving towards part number C, but that is 1 over 3x plus 3 is equal to 4. So part number C, 1 over 3x, 1 over 3x plus 3 is equal to 4. So when you have to solve this equation, first of all, you need to move this 3 on the right side. You will get 1 over 3x is equal to 4 minus 3. Because the sign will be changed when you will move this plus 3 on the other side of the equation, it will become minus 3. So 1 over 3x is equal to 4 minus 3 equal to 1. Now, get rid of this 3 from the denominator here. Move this 3 on the right side. 1x will become 1 into 3. 1x will become 3. This is the solution in the value of the variable, which is x in this case. Part number 4 is, me. part number D, question number 5, y over 4 minus 8 is equal to minus 2. y over 4 minus 8 is equal to minus 2. So the variable is changed. So here we have got x as variable. The process will be same. Move this minus 8 on the right side. 
So y over 4 will be equal to minus 2 plus 8. Now minus 2 plus 8 will give you y over 4 equal to plus 6. This is a common point of mistake by most of the students. The sign of the big number, the large number will be retained. 8 is a larger as compared to minus 2. When signs are opposite, there will be reduction. The numbers will be reduced when because signs are opposite. But sign of the large number will be retained. So plus sign will be retained. Uh, now you are going to move this 4 on the right side. The 4 here, it is dividing y on the right side. You will see that this 4 will be multiplied by 6 and that will become 24. So you got the value of y, which is, you know, the variable. Because solve means to find the value of variable. Then we have part number e, 3 minus 1 over 4 y, 3 minus 1 over 4 y, well, that is equal to 2. Now you have, this is basically the question is saying, you need to find the value of the variable, which is x, but uh, the scenario is a bit changed. You don't worry about the scenario. First of all, I'm moving this three, which is plus. So the sign, the sign always comes before the number. This minus belongs to this one over four. So three has positive sign. So shift this on the, on the right side of the equation. So you will see that you will have something like this, minus one over four y is equal to two minus three. So minus one over four y is equal to minus one. So this two was positive, this three was negative, signs are opposite, result will be reduction, but the sign of the large number will be retained, minus one. Now move this four, which is dividing y right here on the right side, so minus one y, will be equal to minus 1 into 4. And here minus 1y will become minus 4. Minus goes with minus. You can have value of y equal to 4. This is the solution. I hope so it is clear. You can, you can cancel negative sign on both sides. Here you have minus 1y. Here you have minus 4. You just finish it. Okay. Get rid of the negative sign on both sides. Then you have part number 15 minus 2 over 5 by 15 minus you have uh, 2 over 5 by that is equal to 11. But the question scenario same this 15 is positive as I have explained earlier that the sign comes before the number. Move this on the right side, minus 2 over 5, y is equal to 11 minus 15. This is plus 15 on the other side, it will become minus 15. So minus 2 over 5, y is equal to minus 4. Now move this 5 on the right, minus 2, y will become minus 4 multiplied by 5. Here 5 was dividing y. On the other side, it will be multiplied. So this negative sign is with 2. Well, in a fraction, in a fraction, you can use this negative sign either with 2 or either with y. Well, that is your uh, choice because fraction is a fraction is one single. No? Minus 2 over 5 will give you a single answer. So actually, this minus belongs to whole of this fraction. It doesn't belong separately to minus 2 and 5. It is not to be assigned to both of them. You can assign it either with 2 or either with 5. Anyhow, so minus 2y will become minus 20. So 2 here, it is being multiplied. Shift it on the right side, it will divide. Divide minus 20 by minus 2 minus goes with minus 2 10 times 20. So y is equal to 10 is your answer, the solution for this equation. So this is solution of question number five from uh, B1, uh, seventh edition. I hope so, you have understood.